Hello everybody! Today's video, we're going to be trying Osu on a very cheap Windows tablet. This video is sponsored by Banggoods again. I'm not paid to make this video, they just send me the thing for free. I am starting to get really tired of companies sending me things for free because I am legitimately running out of things to ask for free. It'll be easy if they just give me money because there's nothing I want to buy. There isn't food. Uh, this is the, like one of the last few things that I wanted to get for free from any store. I originally wanted to play Osu on a better tiny PC. More specifically, I wanted to try on a GPD Win or a GPD Pocket. But that's way too expensive for any company to send me for free apparently, so uh, I guess I gotta make do with this uh, cheap tablet. I think it costs $130, sing dollars, so yeah. This is a cheap tablet, I have never heard of this brand before, it's called Pipo Pipo? I, I don't know, but uh, it boasts of a uh, HD 1080p screen. Uh, wait, I'm holding it upside down. Uh, let me just remove this thing first. Okay, you know what? I give up. I can't take it out. Okay, let's look at it in Chinese. Okay, it says it has a, a 920 x 1200 pixel screen. It's an IPS screen and the CPU is an Intel A350 and it goes up to 192 gigahertz. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM. It runs on Windows 10. The amazing thing is that it, the entire space there is in the PC is only 32 gigs and that's incredible if you ask me. Uh, well, unboxing wise, I already took it out to test it to see if it works. So yeah, I'm not gonna really go much into unboxing because I don't need to unbox this. It's not that I'm not reviewing this product by people, people. It's more of like I'm trying to advertise the store. <laughs> and here is the tablet. Uh, hey guys. Uh, yeah, you can see why I'm not showing my face today. It's... I am not in the condition to show my face. And uh, to be honest, the screen is not very great. It feels kind of like cheap and plastic. You can tell it's a cheap screen because uh, you can tell the difference between the screen and the bezel. <laughs> it's not like an iPhone where it's just pure black. You can't tell where the screen, where the screen starts or stops. Uh, along with the tablet, it comes with the cable to charge it. It actually uses a micro USB to charge it, but I think you can't use a normal micro USB cable to use, that you use to charge phones or stuff on this because I tried before and it didn't charge. Maybe it has to do with the power, power draw or something. I have no idea. Along with the other cables there, it comes with this adapter. A USB to a micro USB cable adapter. Uh, the reason why they give this cable is because there is no plugs on this thing for you to insert any USB devices. Except for the same port they use to charge. So this is where you charge, and this is the key, this is the small port for hi, and this is the small port for uh, HDMI cables. So yeah, there's only these two ports in the headphone jack. That's about it. So the question is if you can charge this while plugging in a USB device. I honestly think no. I also have not tested the camera on this thing. I kind of don't want to. It probably looks awful. I think I adjust the volume here. So let's just take a look at it. Let's open it up. So first off, since this is a Windows PC tablet, it uses tablet mode, which means that there is no desktop on this device. There's only this, the, the full screen start screen, which I don't really like. Like sometimes you think about going to the desktop, it just doesn't work. Like no matter how much you try, it just shows this screen. You can turn off tablet mode by clicking on this button, but I don't uh, really recommend it because it, you can't type. The keyboard doesn't show up when you try to do things. So let's try getting also running on it. Oh boy. <laughs> Did it crash? <laughs> I don't expect amazing performance on this device and oh my god, what the hell is happening? <laughs> this is insane. Well, it's dead gym. I think I think if this ever happens, it most likely is because Windows set their resolution to uh, two times and oh wow. Holy shit. Originally, this video was supposed to be about what if we tried running Osu on a on a shitty on a on a, a small touchscreen device. But I think it's turned into can we run Osu on something that sh that probably can't run anything at all? We're back, boys. But um, well, I could explain why just now happened, but I don't think anyone is interested in, in understanding why that happened. So I'll just just uh go and fix the problem first. This video is supposed to be about Osu on a shitty device, but I think it has turned into. Uh, how to run Osu on a very shitty device, which I'll teach you that there are a few ways to make Osu run very well on this thing. But first off, we should fix the problem of why that even happened in the first place, which is most likely because because the display is set on 200 on 200%. Changing to 100% is going to be like a pain though. Um, 
So you see here it's changed to 200. We will change it to 100 and also should probably stop breaking. Oh no, oh my god. Osu didn't save its settings. This is going to be a joy. So basically if Osu closes before you, before you press the exit button, it doesn't save the settings you have put in Osu. Like if I went into Osu and I changed my skin but then Osu crashed, it will use the skin I used before before whatever happened. Let's try playing with the touchscreen. It skips frames a lot. I like how the game can't tell what Hertz is on. It's like fluctuating between 40 and 60 right now. Oh my god, what a <laughs> Man, this is so unstable. Okay, guys, I'll teach you how to I'll teach you how to make a PC uh, how to make Osu run faster in general. So what you do? Oh my god! Please stop! Stop! Come on! You go to your options. You go to resolution, and you set it as low as you can. I usually say it at twelve, twelve eighty times seven twenty, which would be this second option. And make sure your full screen no mode is enabled. By the way, it also runs better when you turn on full screen because it takes over your entire GPU. Okay. Also, are you alive? Okay, since uh since this thing isn't obeying me right now, <laughs> when also refuses to open when you change the full screen mode thing, you go to your settings and you change the resolution from whatever it is to the thing to the resolution you set Osu to, which would be uh this resolution. And so this resolution is the same as Osu and it Osu will probably run better. It will probably open properly instead of being stuck. And see yeah, here it works now. Uh another thing that makes Osu run better, uh yes, yeah, this this program work kind of okay. You type game bar. Because apparently the game bar makes Osu run a lot worse. You turn it off. And then when you relaunch Osu, it should stop stuttering. Okay, I know Osu is open. Okay, let's go back to trying to play Osu on this thing. Okay, I think it's running a lot better. The frame rate is a lot better now. And I feel a lot less input latency. Also, the, the screen is no longer confused in wondering what its refresh rate is either. To be honest, 7 ms on this thing is actually really good. It feels like... I don't feel any input lag, basically. It feels instant, which is pretty good. You could you could become a touchscreen player with this, this tablet on like uh, the lower settings. Okay, it kind of like there. Okay, so uh, this is the part that a lot of people have, is probably waiting for, which is, can we use a tablet on this thing? Yes, with the adapter, you can connect a tablet to this thing, and it honestly makes it a lot easier to use because, well. Now you have a, mouse, a proper mouse input. So let's just open up Osu and see how it runs. Hello? Oh, okay, we're back. By the way, I didn't connect a, a keyboard to it because I, I, well, there's only one input, so. I mean, I do have a USB hub, which I guess I'll try later. Oh my god. I feel like this thing is gonna run out of battery before we accomplish anything on it. Okay, it's finally back. Okay, let's try playing Osu.
okay, it works. But I'm honestly more interested in seeing how it works with a keyboard. So let me see if I can get my USB, uh, USB hub to work with it. I don't want to connect an entire keyboard to this thing because I'm afraid that uh, it probably draws too much power and causes this thing to black out. I tried using a sound voltage control on this thing and it caused it to black out, which is definitely not a good like, good thing. This is not gonna lie, one of the most messiest setups I've seen. Oh, I feel so glad that this keyboard has like an exit key. I feel that it's kind of laggy though. Yeah, there's like... Earlier there was only 7 ms of uh, frame time, but now this there's like 11, that's slower. Oh, I feel. Okay, I can feel that uh, this this area is not the same as my area at home. Or it could be because this thing feels a lot laggier. I feel like this is kind of close to my actual tablet area on PC, but maybe it's because the screen is so small, it feels like I'm not moving at all. This kind of reminds me when I played on my very first computer that I originally used to play Usu for the first two years of my life. It was a $100 PC and it was <laughs> basically this level. As, as much as this thing was so terrible to use, and it took forever to do anything, you can actually play Osu on this. Like, with a proper setup with like a tablet and mouse. Like, it's not the best setup for sure, but uh, if if if, this, if the very first time you play Osu is like this, you probably wouldn't be able to tell at all and you'll get, good at, uh, get used to it and get good on such an input uh, laggy kind of setup. Because when, when I was uh, with that really shitty PC, uh, I basically, I think I still managed to hit around four to 5,000 PP and I learned how wrong with that horrible setup. <laughs> the day I upgraded my setup, I could suddenly do hard rock, but it was all because this thing, that my original PC was just so bad. If anything, I would use this mini thing more to play uh, the other game modes instead of Osu because a different screen size means that you you feel different when you're using your tablet even if the tablet area is the same. Alright, so let's try using it for the other game modes. Uh, uh, basically Mania because I haven't downloaded any other maps for this. Cranky, please don't copyright strike me. This is the only like map I have. <laughs> this, that's Mania. This is an awful score. For our name Sound Vortex clone, it actually runs a lot better than Osu, but that's no surprise because uh, our name Sound Vortex clone is more lightweight than Osu. I think it runs at around 75 frames per second, which is pretty dang good. It's more than enough for the game. But generally, when it comes to games, uh, the more frames, the better because of input latency. I wish I could get this to run at 100 frames, but unfortunately this uh, tiny PC does not want that to happen. 
my biggest use of this PC, to be honest, is playing uh, some Voltex clone this because it doesn't take 5,000 years to open up the game, unlike Osu. The game starts out better and there isn't any much lag like <laughs> Osu. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that even though this thing has 35 gi uh, gigs of memory only, which means it's puny for anything, especially for Osu maps, you can technically run the game on an SD card. This you this thing uh, accepts SD cards, which is great, but except that Osu generally runs worse when you're using an external input that isn't the same as the OS so, or, an S or an SSD, so... And that's why just now there was basically no maps on Osu earlier because I was trying to... I wanted Osu to run its best and this thing just powered off on its own. That's that's very epic. <laughs> so you can see that there's an SD card here. It's a slot. Unfortunately it doesn't accept all kinds of SD cards so I could only put a 16 gig SD card in here with all the sound voltage charts inside. Which is uh, basically just nice enough for all the sound voltage charts. There's not many songs in Osu, and not many skins either. So this thing isn't that optimal for playing Osu. But I would say it's good enough for on-the-go stuff, but at that rate, you might as well just get a laptop. This was an interesting, weird experiment. <laughs> and um, now for the closing up part. Do I recommend this thing? Uh, well, because it's like $100, it's, it's tough not to say that it isn't che cheap. It is cheap. It is bloody cheap. I mean, th the fact that it works in the first place is already a miracle considering how horrible the specs are. <laughs> but for the most part, you have to thank Osu for being able to run on low-end PCs. And so, uh, well, I have no qualms about bash bashing this product. Uh, the, the company that's sponsoring me isn't using this product anyway. So if you enjoyed this video, check out Banggoods. Banggoods is a store that sells electronic products. Uh, well, they don't only sell electronic products, they sell other things as well, but mostly I go there to buy electronics. Or, uh, well... I've been using them to buy the stuff for the Curse controller videos. Oh well, was sponsored by them. And this is the first time I actually asked a piece of technology instead of uh, parts to create even more Curse content. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and um, thanks for watching.